Okay guys, in this video tutorial I will walk you through the process of installing MAMP on your Mac to host a WordPress installation here or a WordPress copy. Okay, what you have to do first is to go to MAMP.info and navigate to the downloads um, subsite here. Okay, and here you can download your MAMP copy to your downloads folder and then after downloading you should just walk through the process through the normally or regular installation process i agree install okay and that will take a few minutes and while installing MAMP i will tell you a little bit about an M stack an M stack brings you the technology um, you need to host a wordpress environment and that is an application Apache server, a MySQL database, and PHP. That are the main technologies that are required to run WordPress successfully. Okay, my MAMP uh, installation is uh, successfully completed here. And you can see there's MAMP Pro, but for the first, we only need MAMP. MAMP Pro is for the advanced web developer. Okay, you can close it here. And then what is very important, that you find all you need um, about your MAMP or all you need of your MAMP copy is in your programs or application uh, folder. And here's your new MAMP copy now. You can go into this folder and what is very important that you know this htdocs file here. We will come back here in a few seconds. But for the first, you should have a look at the uh, preference pa uh, panel here of MAMP. And you can go into preferences and there are two very important things here. First, there's um, a setting here for the document root and that is pre-configured to the default htdocs. And what I mostly do is to change this to a subfolder of htdocs depending on what project I'm working on. Uh, currently. Okay, but what is very important that you start the server and simultaneously there will open a page and on this page is, an, is a great overview of all your server settings. You can go to your PHP admin window and configuring your database and you have all your MySQL cre credentials here and uh, some nice examples. But what is very nice is that you can open your tools here, PHP My Admin, and you can have a look at your PHP info here. We will do that later, probably, I don't know. But what is very important first is that you can configure your MAMP. And we will go back here to configure it and have a look at the port. This is the Apache port. So you have to, to give your local host uh, address always uh, um, suffix and the suffix will be 8888. We can try it here. Okay, you see it, localhost 8888. And your subfolder here, map, MAMP, is configured by MAMP itself. But when you delete all what is appended here, you can see I created already a folder of WordPress here. Um, we can see that when I go into htdocs, that is the uh, folder of a later um, or of a Instead, MAMP installation, I deleted before I started this video here. I did not know that this will remain here. But when I refresh my page here, this is gone. And what we can do now is to copy our files into the directory we are pointing to. For example, I could configure MAMP that it will point to the main htdocs directory. Then I should put my... Uh, WordPress files into the main htdocs folder. And in case I change it here to, for example, htdocs and then slash WordPress, I should put my WordPress files um, into the WordPress subfolder and then I can navigate by going to localhost um, colon 8888 to this directory. Okay, that is what all these settings are about. Okay, and we will try it now. But first, we need our copy of WordPress. We will go to wordpress.org. 
wordpress.org and um, download WordPress, a copy of WordPress. It's .org in German. Is it .org? Yeah, .org. Okay, now I have this copy in my downloads folder. I open my downloads folder. Okay, I, I already got one. Okay, stupid. Um, and now I can copy all these files here with command A and then command C and navigate to my programs here. Programs, programs, programs. It's under, uh, here are my programs somewhere. Programs, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, in German, it's still in German because I had my Mac in German before. And then I will search for the MAMP htdocs folder. And this is where my data has to go. Okay, nice. And what is going to happen now when I go to localhost 8888? Okay, my WordPress installation script is starting up. Okay, this is firing up now, but when I change this here to htdocs and then to two, 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 another folder, I will try it with <laughs> htdocs and then for better overview, I will create a new folder of WordPress project. Okay, and I will put or drag all my data into this folder. And when I open this up here, I could go inside here and I have my installation script running here. But what is very useful um, is that you can change this root directory here to wp underscore project and then you can host several projects there and just by switching uh, in the preferences, um, the just by switching your document root, you can switch between this um, project and you have only to remember one URL or one address and this is localhost 888 because now localhost 888 points to my subdirectory. Okay, here it is back again and there is no WP um, WP project folder anymore because it is relative to what I configure in my mem preferences. Okay, now I can create a configuration file and I say let's go. But what are my credentials for my database now? I should go back. I can uh, close this tab for now. I should go back to my mem preferences or to my MEMP starting page, open start page. And here I can figure out what my database um, login data is or what my database name could be because I can go to phpMyAdmin, I press command and then this link here to open this up in a new tab and I can create a new database here. I just have to click, oh, where can I create a new database here? And then I can go to, I can say project, pro wp dash project, create. Okay, now I have a new database, wp dash project, and I can tell my WordPress installation here. Okay, my database name is wp project. And as a new username, I choose my root username here because my root user here has all the permissions this user needs to get access to my new created database. Password is root as well. Okay, very nice. And my database host is localhost. Host, localhost. You see, you've got everything in one place. Okay, and my table prefix, just for security reason, you should get used to change it. For example, I take WP for um, WP project or uh, XX, whatever you want to choose, just because for security reason, uh, just because of security reasons. Okay, submit this page. Everything works fine. I give my site a nice title, nice title. I choose a username, I choose a password. A very easy password because it's on my own machine. I should change it when I 
put this data on the server and um, I choose my real um, email address here and I allow search engines to index the, the site. This isn't important because no search engine can call my personal computer here or my Mac machine. Here. Okay, I log in, admin, and my password is already saved. Oh, but it, yeah, yeah, it's correctly saved in my keychain. Nice, I have a running WordPress installation on my local machine, how easy it is. And what is even greater, that this works so fast. When you design a theme or whatever, you can edit your files on a local machine. And that is what local installations of WordPress have this, um, have this big adva uh, advantage that you can work very fast and edit your scripts on your own computer. Okay, I hope you got this. Um, how it works, everything. Okay, we will see us in later every episodes, I hope. Uh, have a nice day.